I'm Chef David Janke and today I want to show you how we can cut, peel and take the seed away from a chayote or also called Mexican pear squash. Chayote is the fruit of a plant which is family from the squash family. It's a, a Latin ingredient since the pre-Hispanic cuisine. We can use it in different ways. We can use it just boiled, steamed, baked. Um, there's many, many ways. Usually very common in Mexico, for example, it's used for stews or in broths. There are different types. Here I got a few, for example. And it, the, the most common types is always the one with the shiny, flat, uh, lightly green skin. There's a smaller variety which has a white skin and also whitey. And then we have the other one which is in the middle which is the one which has like little spines and it has a dark green meat inside which is actually uh, my favorite from all the ones uh, but it's of course also the most difficult to peel because you can hurt yourself from the chayote plant, plant you can actually eat uh, also other things for example the little guides they're also delicious um, to add them to soups taste like little, like peas and uh, well let me show you how we have to prepare them to cut our chayotes or let's say to prepare them uh, and so after we can cut them and apply it for culinary techniques of course we can also bake them with everything with the whole skin and then just scoop out the meat that's also a way we could do it but again this is just like a culinary cutting technique which we apply or we can apply to cut these um, chayotes you can see those have like a very uneven um, um, let's say surface some are even more more uneven than this one here and the chayote usually always has one large white seat into the center which is actually tender it's not solid it's not tough and we kind of have to cut it out like an apple or like a pear so we have to find a good way how to not waste too much of the skin which i will show you in two minutes what i do first usually it's always better to cut them first split them in the middle because of that uneven surface which we always have and then peel so we don't waste too much of the meat in that end here and um, I will show you that in a few seconds here this one that case that's different here we have to be very careful those spines they they sting you know and we have to use a towel to hold it first to start cutting off a surface where we actually can stand it up or lie it down safe so now we can cut around it and taking off that spiny skin without hurting us. Another trick is also to have a little bit of oil. It can be any kind of oil and you put that on your hand, kind of you wash your hands with the oil before touching actually the chayote. And when you start peeling or cutting chayote inside, they will come out like a juice. And that juice gets like very, very sticky on your skin. And it's very tough to get it off later and it feels very dry. It doesn't feel comfortable. And just to avoid that, just like a simple trick, put some oil on your hands and then it won't stick on your hand and it's very easy just to wash it off. Beside that, we need to have a bowl for our peel, of course, and we need to have another bowl for our final product once it's peeled. And um, a cutting board, we need to have a chef knife to peel it, to cut around it and also to split it in the middle. And we also can use actually uh, a small paring knife or also peel actually to peel around but it's better with a paring knife because once we split it into the middle then it's easier and also it's easier to cut off and of course the seat inside and that's our, our mise en place we have to have ready and like I always said have a little towel in case we have the ones with the spines okay now I will show you how we peel both types and also how we take the seat out
Thank you very much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful. If then please subscribe to my channel. I will upload very soon much more videos. I also will add a little bit of information about all we talked about today in text below the message. I'm Chef David Janke. Thanks for watching me today.